Hey everyone, welcome back to Motionplex. In today's session, we'll discuss the entire video game development process from idea to post-production, covering key stages and activities. Before we start, ensure that you don't forget to check Motionplex, a platform for creators that provides courses created by industry specialists. Initiating combat mode. Now let's kick off our discussion. Playing video games is a popular pastime for people of all ages. For most, the video game journey begins at the Apple App Store, Google Play Store, Steam, or a video game store, and ends at the couch. It's easy to think of games as simply electronic toys that can be made with a few clicks of the mouse. However, in reality, getting a game into the hands of consumers involves a very long and tenuous journey that can take years from start to finish. Nowadays, video games combine the greatest elements of art and entertainment, placing them in an interactive medium that draws players in and creates a unique experience. What is something that if you love it, a lot of people would love it? That's where you really should go hard. And I think that's what we try it with Arcane, you know. Um, we'll see, but um, I think it has potential. Whether it's the addictive thrill of a multiplayer shooter, the cooperative camaraderie of an MMO, or the wonder and immersive storytelling of an RPG. Video games are one of the only mediums that allow us to not only watch, but also interact, influence, and exist within their worlds. Whether you're looking to create a small indie game, a mobile game, or work with a large LAA studio, the basic sequence of creating a game remains pretty much the same and is divided into three stages, pre-production, production, and post-production. Pre-production phase. Pre-production is the critical first phase of the video game development cycle. It is essential for defining what your game is, estimating completion time, determining resource needs, and calculating costs. In a professional environment, pre-production can last from one week to over a year, depending on the project's size and complexity. The three main components of pre-production are the concept, the plan, and prototypes. Every game starts with an idea or concept, born from a story, unique gameplay, or a technological innovation. The plan involves documenting the vision, describing content, ensuring team understanding, and mapping out a production plan. Prototyping is crucial during pre-production, allowing testing of game mechanics, functions, and art direction using rough, functional tests. Production phase. Production is the main and longest stage of game development, where the game is actually created. This phase involves hiring new staff, focusing on content, asset and code creation, and implementing various tasks needed in game development. Balancing creativity with time management is a challenge during this phase. The production phase is categorized into five stages. Vertical slice, pre-alpha, alpha, beta, and gold. Vertical slice, a representative portion of a game that showcases how the final version will look, sound, and play. Pre-alpha, development before official testing with a focus on core game elements. Alpha, feature complete stage with a fully playable game, focusing on finishing and polishing. Beta, fixing bugs and stabilizing the project before launch. Gold, the game is considered complete and ready for release. Post-production phase. Contrary to popular belief, game development doesn't end 
when the game is complete and released. Post-production involves releasing subsequent versions or patches with a focus on stability and optimization. Two important aspects of post-production are the post-mortem and the closing kit. Post-mortem, a meeting to discuss the ups and downs of development, learning from experience, and improving the game development process. Closing kit, organizing all the game's source assets and code for future use or reference. While game production may not be a science and each project presents new challenges, common elements exist in all game development. Learning from and anticipating. These challenges is what makes good game designers, developers and producers. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to more videos like this. Additionally, Take a look at Motionplex, a course-selling market, where you can find courses on animation, VFX, game design, and cinematography created by industry professionals. You can find the link in the description box below. That's it for today. See you next time.